There should be room for two fingers inside the curb chain and so that it comes tight when the cheek pieces of the bit reach an angle of 45 degrees to the bars of the mouth. The nose band should have one finger's clearance and the throat lash four fingers clearance. A second check for the adjustment of the throat lash is that it shouldn't be possible to pull the bridle off easily. The bit should be set high enough to just wrinkle the corners of the mouth. The advantage of a Liverpool bit is that the reins can be attached in various positions to suit the pony. The least effective position is plain cheek, which has no curb effect. For slightly more effect, rough cheek position can be used. Top and bottom bar are increasingly more severe. Bottom bar would not normally be required. This pony drives best on the normal setting of rough cheek. This is a ported Liverpool bit, the port being the raised part in the centre of the bit. This helps to prevent the tongue coming over the bit, which could cause loss of control. This also shows the action of the curb chain on the lower jaw. This is an army reversible bit, also ported, which is similar to a Liverpool, but with the cheek pieces swept back. The cheeks swivel, so like the Liverpool, it can be reversed so that either the smooth or the rough side of the mouthpiece comes into use. Here you see how a ported Liverpool rests on the tongue. <laughs> 